In this section, you will see how Claris CAD is used to create the typical drawings that mechanical designers, architects, and industrial designers make. And you will examine some of the unique features used to create the drawings. Here is a general illustration created in Claris CAD. First, let's see how big the drawing is. If you choose Drawing from the Layout menu, you get this window. The white rectangles in this box show you the size of the drawing. If you click in this area, you can make the drawing any size you choose. If you press on Other, you can set the drawing size to any of the standard drawing sizes, A, B, C, D, and E. Also, you can set standard drawing stationary at this pop-up menu. Let's click Cancel to leave the drawing as it was. The Zoom tools down here allow you to select a view of the drawing which is convenient for you to work on. The percentage above the Zoom tools shows the amount the view has been zoomed in or out. Clicking on the Zoom tool on the left allows you to reduce the view of the drawing. Clicking on the Zoom tool in the middle successively magnifies the view of the drawing. Generally, you use the Zoom tools to zoom in to do fine detail work and out to manipulate large objects on the drawing. When you select the Zoom tool on the right, the Selection tool turns into a magnifying glass symbol, and you can click and drag out any area you wish to have magnified. Clicking successively on the Percentage window toggles the view between the view you have currently selected and the 100% view. Let's examine how this part of the drawing was created. It is made up of a dimensioned rectangle. First, you select the Rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle. While you hold down the mouse button, the size of the rectangle is entered into the location bar. You do this by typing V for vertical and minus .583, then H for horizontal, and 2.624 and enter. The rectangle is created with these dimensions. Now you need to accurately place the rectangle. You can do this by locking the percent modifier and picking up one side of the rectangle with the selection tool. The side of the rectangle is picked up at its midpoint because the default of the percent modifier is 50%. Now you drag the rectangle and release on the bottom line of the camera. Again, the midpoint of the line is selected because of the percent modifier. Then the drawing is completed by making the linear dimensions. Let's look at some features of this typical floor plan. The first thing you notice is that the drawing is made on several layers. Layers are changed by clicking on the up or down layer selection arrows. This drawing has been arranged so that each layer shows another set of important elements of the drawing. The layer at the bottom has the walls and windows of the house. The next layer up has all the fixtures. The next layer has the dimensions. And finally, the top layer has the notes and labels. Layers allow you to separate different elements of the drawing so that you can more clearly see what you are working on at any time. Placing objects on different layers also allows you to select and place objects without interfering with objects nearby. Layers can also be created, named, changed, and manipulated in the Layers window under the Layout menu. Another feature of this floor plan is the way the walls were created with the use of the Double Lines tool. Going to the Fixtures layer, you see that many of the items, such as bathtubs and doors, are standard symbols which have been added to the diagram from a symbols library. Symbols libraries are available commercially, or you can create your own. To use an existing library, you simply select Open as Library under the File menu. A window opens with a list of symbols contained in the library. Clicking on the name will show a picture of it on the left. Once selected, a symbol can be copied. You can then either close the window or click in the drawing to make the drawing active. The symbol can then be pasted into the drawing wherever you want it.
Here is a typical mechanical design drawing of a drill adapter. And the first thing you notice is the standard hatching used to show the cross section. This standard hatch exists as a grouped set of lines in Claris CAD. Let's delete it and see how the hatch was created. To hatch an object, you first need to select all the objects around the perimeter of the area you want to hatch. Then you select Hatches from the pen menu. Standard hatches for different materials are available or you can create your own. Now you select the type of hatch you need and when you click OK, the hatch is made in the area selected. This dashed line is also a standard mechanical design drawing feature. To create a dashed object like this in Claris CAD, you first select the object and then choose dashes under the pen menu. A window appears which allows you to select various standard dashed lines for drawing. You can also create your own customized dashed line by moving the two handles on the measure. To use one of these options, you just click to select the one you want and click OK. Now you need to select dashed line from the pen menu and the line is changed to the dashes of your choice. Here is a mechanical design drawing of a fan shroud. A complex feature of this drawing is the number of slots in the base. Each needs to be drawn individually, or you can use the duplicate features of Claris CAD to help you out. To see how this works, you need to go back to the way the diagram was before one of the rings was created. In this drawing, the outer ring of slots has not been created, and you only have one slot drawn at the top. To complete the ring, you select all the objects in the available outer slot and open the Polar Duplicate window from the Edit menu. Now you need to enter all the specifications of the kind of duplicate you want. To do this, you need to enter a total number of objects around the Polar Duplicate as 8, which includes the slot already existing. The angle each object must be placed at as 45 degrees. The center of the polar duplicate to be X equals 5.573 and Y equals minus 4.051. You also need to select increment and rotate each copy. Now when you click OK, the ring of slots is completed around the shroud. A considerably easier way than creating each slot individually.